Welcome, welcome! It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today I'm going to bring you how to do the urgent boarding action in progress mission in 3.12.1. You have to make your way over to Art Corp or you could go to Microtech. And I highly suggest you use the space station above the planet to set your spawn point if you don't have a Cutlass Red or some hospital ship respawn ship. Uh, so yeah, that's what I suggest you do. So I'm going to buy any point right now. You can go to Port Tressler if you're in the Microtech area. Um, I'm going to land here at buy any point, and I'm going to go get an Aurora MR. I do not have this thing very tricked out. I've got all size one gimbals with uh, the yellow jacket. Gatlin's going to be on it, and you have to take this mission in the contracts tab. You have to be in the Art Corp system to do it. It's under Mercenary. Always grab the Call of Arms so that you can get those bonus credits for the sh any pirate ships you might shoot down. And then take the urgent boarding party action uh, mission. As you can see, it's worth 45,000 credits. Uh, a lot of money for this mission. It's going to pay off some of the best in the game. Uh, it's very quick money as well. You can do this mission within, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Um, I do have this video edited down slightly. I only chopped up a couple little bits just to keep it from being 15 to 20 minutes long. Uh, I hope you guys can appreciate that. And thank you for actually watching the video and tuning in. I hope you do enjoy these. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel before. So here you see I am in an Aurora MR. That's a starting ship, a starter pack ship. $40 right now on the RSI website, the robertspaceindustries.com website. Make sure you use my referral code if you are wanting to get into the game and get your first package. Uh, that You'll get 5,000 bonus credits for doing that. Uh, so yeah, definitely do that. It helps me out as well as far as referral points. So as you can see, I'm approaching the waypoint here where this 890 jump is, this luxury cruise ship or yacht. And there are a couple of Cutlass Blacks Drake Cutlass Blacks, uh, flying patrol for these outlaws. And if you don't know, this is definitely a couple of ships that are a little bit more powerful than what the Aurora is usually. Uh, these are like medium fighter type ships or all purpose ships. They come with four size three mounts, whereas the Aurora only has four size one mounts. So I am definitely punching above my weight here, but it's definitely very possible to do in Aurora. You see, I make quick work of the first Cuddy Black, and I'm moving on to the second one. I am going to utilize missiles, and in the previous ship, my missile didn't hit. This one, it actually makes contact right off the bat. I thought I was going to get a super fast kill, but it's not going to be as fast as I would have liked. As you can see, he's actually moving away from me, allowing me to get another missile lock, uh, but I'm going to fly in too close of range to actually finish off that missile lock and to finish off that Cuddy Black with a missile. Uh, so now I'm definitely within gun range and I'm just gonna keep unloading with these Yellow Jackets. These are great when you have four of them. A size one, they still do some damage. Uh, this is like a medium shield or whatever that I'm going against uh, on this Cuddy Black. And I was able to make short work, relatively short work of him. As you see, you get the bonus credits for those kills because I have the call to arms contract set up as well uh, so we are now going to approach this 890 jump and that way we can board it and take out the enemies that are on board so you can read the description of the mission i'm just going to give you a brief synopsis uh, these guys have infiltrated this luxury uh, yacht they're trying to infiltrate the systems on it and hack it to where they can get some data from it now this mission originally had a console you had to deactivate within a certain amount of time or you failed part of the mission. And the other part of the mission was to eliminate all the bad guys on board. For some reason, they took the console bit out. I'm not sure exactly why. 
And honestly, I haven't read the mission to see if it's been updated, uh, at least the lore behind it. But it's a fun little mission, and you know it can be challenging for some folks, and then some folks who have done it a lot aren't going to be quite as challenged. I do recommend that you pick up a couple of better weapons than your pistol, but you can use just the pistol to go through this mission because you can pick up the enemy's weapons um, as they die. Uh, so you can actually use their weapons over and over again against them. So here I'm going to exit the ship. Used to when you came into the 890 jump over here, the timer would start, but there is no timer anymore because you don't have to uh, deactivate the hack that was normally going on on the 890 jump. Uh, the guy who designed this mission is actually no longer with CIG, but it's it's a phenomenal mission. I really like it. He also designed one on the pirate side where you go to the Caterpillar, Drake Caterpillar prison ship and rescue three prisoners from it uh, and get the heck out of there. But that one gives you a nice little crime stat for doing it. And you usually want to have some support, some cover to help you with it. Um, but you can go in solo. It's just... A little trickier you have to go from much longer range and you probably won't have a ship at the end of it unless you can steal one of the uh, good guy cutlasses so here we go we have people on uh, the second deck here that I'm gonna have to eliminate and you sometimes have to be a little choosy on how you do this approach it approach it tactically because you, right now I don't have a respawn bed set up anywhere nearby. I'd have to start over from by any point if I failed to, you know, if I get taken out doing this mission. So this guy's head's just popping up. I switched to my AR. This is a P8. Great little gun. I really enjoy it. Fast firing. Stays on target most of the time. Uh, P4 is really good as well. Uh, they, they have some other assault type weapons that are really good. There's a lot of good weapons in the game that are fun to shoot. You j I would just suggest that you pick one and uh, learn how to fire with it, and it before moving on to another one and mastering it. So we already have 10 bad guys down. Uh, now three of them went down before I ever entered. There are security forces on the ship that are engaging the outlaws. Uh, if you are not careful on who you're shooting at you could take out one of the security forces and you'll automatically fail the mission so you've got to make sure there's no friendlies that you take out and it's different every time they may take out half the ship for you they may not take out anybody they may still be alive when you get on board uh, but not being engaged it's it's kind of weird like that uh, now you can see i'm going room to room here these are suites that are on board the ship sometimes uh, when the hacking terminal was in the game, they would be present in those rooms. And this guy, I'm just going to take a little shot to make sure he's on the other side of the glass, uh, which he is. And so I'm going to approach him and try to eliminate him right off the bat. For some reason, I only damage him even though I shot him in the head. Uh, welcome to DC. Sometimes you, you know, shoot that close and you're actually hitting a corner. <laughs> Lots of fun little... Uh, little desync issues still in the game uh, but that's star citizen right now that's alpha uh, so now we've made our way through three more bad guys leaving seven left and these seven are all going to be located most likely down in the hangar and in the cargo hold area where the uh, engineering is uh, i always like to go engineering now if you're doing this mission for one of the first times or early times in your Star Citizen career, I would probably suggest you start by going down to engineering. As you can see, I'm kind of headed down here. I'm going to check the pool area just real quick. I don't see any bad guys in there. So now I'll head down to engineering. I do say that it's probably easier to go this direction into engineering. Don't go the other side. You have two elevators that will take you down there and they will end up on either side of the cargo hold area. Uh, I prefer this one just because it lines you up for some shots 1v1 a little easier. Whereas if you come in out the other side, you might have two or three guys trying to shoot at you at the same time. Now, if you get in on a fresh server, this mission is much harder than if you get in on a server that's been up and running for a little while because the AI is just not as good the longer the server's been running. As you can see, I do have a silencer running on this 
gun as well. That will help you tremendously out. If you don't have a silencer, these guys will react and they will most likely open fire a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit more like they should. Uh, with, with the silencer, I'm able to get a few of these takedowns. You know, once you get really good at this mission, you could probably do knife only. And let me tell you, if you do knife only, it is a lot of fun, but it is extremely challenging. Uh, so definitely, once you get up to that point, uh, you know, they don't have very good stealth mechanics for FPS in Star Citizen yet. So that, that's the real big challenge is can you get close enough, stab the guy, and keep your knife. Because sometimes you'll lose the knife. I don't know if it's just buried in the guy and you can't get it back or what. Uh, but it is a lot of fun to run through. Now this is the med bay. This is why I say go to cargo engineering first if you're new to this mission. Because you can go up here and set a med bed right here. This is a respawn point. So now if I get shot while I'm on this ship, I'm going to respawn on this ship and I can continue the mission here. I won't have to go all the way back to buy any point or Port Tressler if I'm in the Microtech area. So now I know that in here is the cargo area. You're go I'm going to have at least three guys in here most likely. Uh, you can see the 300i in the cargo area. So I'm going to finish these guys off and that's going to be 45,000 credits just like that. Uh, so very easy mission when you have run it a few times. Uh, if you're new to it, just take your time, go slow. I recommend, you know, go into the engineering first. You don't have to do that, but that's what I would recommend. Uh, and you'll get 45,000 credits. Easy peasy. It's not that difficult to do. Uh, try it out a few times. You'll figure out what works for you the best, what work doesn't work. And then you can get yourself a 300i to take home afterwards. Now, you're not going to keep this ship, but, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to fly around and it's a little bit more powerful than that Aurora. Uh, so definitely check that out. Hey guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button if you like the video. Thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube members. If you want to join those groups, you can get in for as low as a dollar. Uh, I certainly appreciate it. It definitely helps me out a ton. As does watching the videos all the way through, clicking on the ads, watching the ads all the way through. That helps with the revenue of the channel as well. And uh, trust me, I could... I could use it. I'm not a big time YouTuber yet. Uh, so thanks again for tuning in and watching the video. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse.